Hi, this is Chris from Needlepointers.com. I'm here today to share with you a free Halloween design from Designs and Machine Embroidery. This is their spooky stocking block design. Dime has been sharing a free design each week this year. Most weeks they share a simple design, but sometimes it's a project like this one. Needlepointers.com is a Dime affiliate, so if you click a link from our website to Dime, we will receive a commission for any purchases you make from Dime. We always appreciate it when our viewers purchase through our links, so thank you in advance. This spooky stocking project is a downloadable design and it includes a PDF photo tutorial to help you make this project. The project comes with five separate embroidery files, the spider, the stretching cat, the mouse, the broom, and the witch's legs. It also comes with an alignment printout to help you align the separate embroidery designs. To make this project, I cut and sewed the orange and the gray background fabrics together. Then I hooped the whole thing in my largest hoop to make it so that the witch's legs would be in the center of the hoop, but offset on, a little bit on the block. I first stitched the witch's legs section. The, this dress underneath is an applique piece of fabric. The stockings and the shoes are normal embroidery with thread. After stitching the witch's legs, I rehooped the fabric so that the broom and the mouse will be more towards the center. And I then used the placement guide to help me get the designs placed into the correct locations. I then stitched each of these two designs. Once the mouse and the broom were stitched, then I rehooped the fabric again so that this side would be in the middle of the hoop. And I stitched the spiders and the stretching cat. The tool is added after you finish all the embroidery and sewn to the top of the block. After the block was completed and trimmed, I added these two borders around the block. And then I decided to just cut a piece of backing that was about one half inch larger than the size of the block and layered them together, right sides together. I left a small opening, a few inches, like three inches on one of the sides so that I could turn and I sewed around with a one quarter inch seam allowance. After turning the block, I then top stitched around the edge, which also closed the opening. I decided to add a bit of quilting around the orange section up on the top. Uh, I skipped the part. I didn't go across the top of the skirt. I just went around the embroideries and didn't stitch across them. I added also a purple stitching, stitch in the ditch around the purple border. And that was all the quilting I did. You can add as much or as little quilting as you like to this block. Finally, I added some hanging loops to the back of my block so that I could hang it on a hanger. If you'd like to get this free design, click the link in the description of this video to go to our page for this project. From there, you will find a link to get this free design, some photos, and tips for making this project. This was a quick project that I made in an afternoon, and I had fun making it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this spooky stocking project that I made. Let us know what you think of this project in the comments section below. If you make this project, share it on our Facebook group, Free Quilting and Sewing Patterns. Like and share our videos, and if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss future videos. Help us spread our videos by sharing them with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other machine embroidery tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials. Happy sewing!